Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak rose to power in October 1981 after his predecessor Anwar Sadat was assassinated by Islamic nationalists in the military. Few thought his reign would last so long. Mohammed Hosni Mubarak was born in 1928. He became a military pilot, training in Moscow and eventually becoming commander of the Egyptian Air Force in 1972. With the death of Sadat, he became leader of the largest Arab nation, but one isolated from many of its neighbors, angered by its peace treaty with Israel. Still, that treaty brought Egypt closer to the United States, and they became an important ally in the Middle East. As a result, billions of dollars in aid went to Mubarak's regime. Egypt even committed its own soldiers to a U.S.-led coalition to evict Saddam Hussein from Kuwait in 1991. But much of that money was used by Mubarak to repress democracy at home. Emergency laws enacted after Sadat's assassination would remain in place for three decades, allowing the regime to detain and often torture anyone the government considered an enemy of the state. In January 2011, that all changed. Fed up with poverty and high unemployment, pro-democracy protests broke out across the country. At first, they were greeted with tear gas and imprisonment. But when it became obvious the movement for change was widespread, the 82-year-old president promised constitutional reforms, pledging he would not run again. It was not enough for the protesters. Aided by social media, the opposition called on Mubarak and his entire government to step down. On the 17th day of the crisis, Mubarak finally transferred most of his powers to his hand-picked vice president. And the very next day, with thousands of protesters in Cairo's Liberation Square, Mubarak finally stepped down, with leadership temporarily entrusted to the military. Hosni Mubarak will likely be viewed by historians as a brutal dictator to his own people, but one who proved a valuable partner to the West in fighting terrorism and in keeping Middle East peace. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.